Okay, welcome back to the Drive Dock, everyone. My name is Brian, and forgive me, I have a cold. We have one car in our family, and my wife uses it to go to work and what have you. So, how I caught a cold, I have no idea. I don't go anywhere. At least not when it's cold like this. Last week here, the, high, the highs were minus three, minus two. So, my Christmas was good, except for catching a cold from my great nephews. Um, I hope yours was as well. Uh, I got a little quick update here for you coming up. Uh, not real long, just got some things done. I thought I'd bring you up to speed before the New Year. Uh, speaking of New Year's, I hope you have a great New Year's. Be safe if you're going out. And uh, stay warm. If you're in a place that's not warm, like here, uh, my wife and I are going out. I think we're retarded, but, you know, just because you're in your 50s doesn't mean you can't go have some fun. A um, couple things about the model. Um, I got some painting done, which you'll see coming up. And uh, the instructions are kind of, I don't know what the word would be, a little helter-skelter. I... Um, there's a there's a part that goes in front of the island that they have you assemble and granted I haven't done a lot of models so maybe this is kind of a normal thing but it was a long ways away from being on the part of the instructions that dealt with the island so and it didn't where it was showing to put it together was working on the uh, hull and I'm like, well, where did, there's no arrow saying where this thing goes. But that's all right. Um, I looked ahead, and I figured it out. There's, uh, there's a couple of guns that go up on top and what have you. So I, I did figure that out. But I just thought it was kind of odd that they put it there instead of where you're working on the island. Um, let's see, anything else? Man... Oh, the hat. Um, like I said in the video previously, I collect hats from where the ships that I have been on. This one's the USS Missouri. And I obviously I got to tour her when I was in uh, Pearl Harbor along with the Arizona and the Bowfin submarine. Unfortunately, I did not get a hat for the Bowfin. I don't know why. But um, I thought I'd wear it today and show it off a little bit. I usually don't wear these. They're in a case. Um, I hope that um, you're enjoying what you're seeing. I hope you enjoy what I'm doing. Um, please subscribe if you like it. Um, comments. Like my channel. Um, I will try to do my best to entertain the best I can. I try to keep these short because I know everybody's busy. So there might be more um, videos than maybe need be, but Instead of lumping a bunch of them together at an hour long or whatever, I figured I'd show you as I get along, as I'm going along, when I'm getting done. If I come across something that's of interest, that I think I should probably show you how I do it, <laughs> um, I will. So enough rambling, because that's what I'm doing. Let's get the camera turned around, put in place, and uh, get after it. Okay. Like I said, it's a little quickie update. Um, as you can see, it didn't turn out too bad. The old bootstripe. The opponent pointer here he is. I kind of like it. What I wound up doing is this is um, the pinstripe. And. Uh, I put masking tape even with the pinstripe down this way, sprayed this all the way around. Turned out pretty good, I think. Um, this masking here is, I got a little overspray up in here, so I need to go back and paint that deck gray. Um, 
I also painted I also painted the uh, gun tubs that gray in here this paint in here is like I talked about before I'm thinking I'm going to paint back a ways um, deck gray so that when, I, when this elevator is down in here I have a plane sitting here that you can see um, I also put on the crane the um, gangplank I'm, at least I'm assuming that's the gangplank I also have to paint this deck gray yet too I'll probably do that when I do all the, when I do all this behind here um, and also here where the uh, angled elevator comes down I'll, I'll come back a ways and paint this deck gray as well um, this gun tub back here I'm not quite sure why they don't show any guns in here I'm guessing they're bow fins um, I'll see how many guns I have left when I get done and if I have any left I'll put some in there but I haven't done a lot of research as to in 1953 for this particular uh, modification if they had guns there maybe they didn't um, I also added the bow fins back here and these two little guys back here um, I almost had a catastrophe I uh, this guy up here this little guy he uh, got caught in the tape when I was masking it off apparently I didn't have him glued in as well as I thought and he came off so I had to go back through my balls of tape and un unwind him and dig him out so fortunately I found him um, let's see what else I'll have to go back and touch this up a little bit when I'm all done put another coat on here um, this pinstripe was really glossy so before I painted this, I sprayed it with a dull coat to uh, take the gloss out. Um, I still have this guy. He needs to get glued. Oops, wrong way. Up here. Like that. And um, I uh, did some work on the island, and I painted the, um, I don't know how well you can see that, put, some, put something black behind it. Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't, but... That uh, photo etch has got a couple of drops of. Let's see if it zooms in a little bit. That's as far as it goes. Um, I didn't realize how much glue was in there because it's clear. So a couple of those spots between the posts and the and the actual vertical rails sh kind of filled in with glue. So when I painted it, it showed up. I'll have to figure out what to do with that. Uh, then the other. I'm down, I've got one more, one more mullion to put on this little guy. Uh, you can't see him too well. One more mullion to put on this little guy right up, right up here. And then I'm going to sand and file the little burrs off the metal. And I'll take suggestions, but I'm thinking I might get a piece of sprue tab, sand it down thin and try to cut it so it matches so I get that little overhang over the windows. Um, if anybody has a better idea let me know. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, colds, I hate them. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, I also painted The island. Oh, you 
can see that. And um, I'll have to come back now. There's pieces that go above here. So I want to paint the deck gray part in here before I start attaching this. Um, that little um, this guy goes in here kinda sort of that bridge sits oops sits in there so I don't have to worry about that and then another bridge goes in above it so I don't know how much I really have to paint under there but you know anybody gets in there starts snooping sees how come we didn't paint that well I better paint it um, that's about where we're at there's nothing real major other than the bootstripe and painting the whole thing which I thought turned out really good even back at the even back here looks pretty good so <clears throat> well that should be it well now that you've seen where I'm at you can see that uh, I'm pleased with it. I think it's turning out quite well for my first aircraft carrier I've ever done. Uh, I plan on giving it to my father, so I hope, I'm sure he'll enjoy it. Um, like I said before, uh, have a great New Year's. Wow, I, need, I seriously need a light back there. And uh, safe New Year's. Enjoy, have fun. We'll see you in 2018. Until then, 